Hey everybody, welcome to another quick save review with me, RC. Today we're checking out Skellboy Refractured on Steam. Now, Skellboy is a game that came out on Switch, I would say sometime last year. And what it is, is uh, they, they classify it as an action RPG. It, I think that is true, but it's also kind of a platforming adventure game. Uh, so you play a Skellboy here, and Skellboy may not look like much of a skull character, and that is because in Skellboy, his main objective, or not his main objective, the, the main gimmick in the game, uh, is to put on different heads and bodies and feet and everything like that. So you can see I'm actually wearing <laughs> a pink dress, he's wearing the princess dress and the princess hair with the crown there, but he's got this interesting head. You see the head, how it's red? It's actually the head of like a piranha plant spitting thing. Uh, so now because I have it, I can spit things out. So there's a lot of different heads that you could wear in the game that give you different abilities and different costumes you can wear and stuff, which is pretty cool. Um, we actually just finished the first quest and uh, defeated the first boss. And uh, the whole thing was that we had to go find the princess. And because this game has sort of a dark, you know, dark humor, dark tone to it, um, we didn't actually get to bring the princess back. Instead, we have the princess's dress and we're wearing her hair and crown. <laughs> but that's enough for all of the uh, kingdom's guards here to think that I am the, pr uh, the princess, even though I have like a red face, which is strange. Um, but here we are. We are back. We're making our way in. So yeah, action RPG for sure. Uh, platformer, adventure, almost like Paper Mario style game. I feel like it's a bit inspired by that too. Uh, but I really, really like the redressing gimmick. It's very, very funny. But here we are. We have Butler Chester. He says, I'm so happy you found your way here. I'd feared you got punched into pixels by some undead. Yikes. It feels like weighted dice falling from my heart knowing that you are safe now. Nice music, by the way. I like the music in the game. The main theme, especially, has got this like creepy Halloween-y type tone to it, which it should. You're playing as a skeleton, right? Uh, from the moment disaster shook our peaceful kingdom, Kubalds started seeking shelter. Luckily, this place is pretty safe and has enough space for now. Also should mention to you guys, if you are interested in this game, it's coming out this week on the 13th uh, on Steam here, which is the, the version we're checking out. Uh, yeah, it was it was on Switch before. It is now coming to Steam, which is great. On the thirteenth, uh, talking about dice, the grand dice. Geez, I haven't seen one pixel of him since everything fell apart. My hope is that he safely made it from the th throne room to the barracks, because it's too dangerous to walk outside. I sent some soldiers down to investigate the dungeons through the hole over there. The barracks is not too far from there, but not one of them has come back yet. And also, no sign of our brave four squires. Oh no. But what am I talking about? That's nothing your square head should worry about. Everything will be fine. Just stay here. Going into the dungeon by yourself is not necessary. I repeat, no need to jump down. I think we all know what's about to happen here. Uh, we have another character we could talk to, though. I'll stay here protecting the weak. I'll stay here protecting the weak is an honorable task in itself, but still, I would like to help outside. Uh, one of the other uh, cool things about this game, obviously, is the sort of, like... 3D isometric type of, uh, you know, pixelized, art, you know, art style going on here. I think it's really, really cool and very unique looking. Um, you know, there's a lot of pixel games coming out nowadays, so it's hard to contend. But I feel like this game does a good job of standing out by adding this, like, 3D isometric look to it. You don't see that too often. I snuck in here after they already closed the doors. I'm not really scared of the monsters or anything. I just like being near the grand dice. I'm not a weirdo, right? Hmm. Who could say? Alright, so they showed this person. I wasn't sure if this is someone we actually need to talk to. Taurus Bold. I'm not from here. I'm just a tourist passing through, but I came to the at the wrong time, it seems. Do you think I can get a refund for my travel agency in case of an apocalypse? Probably not. Okay. No need to jump down. I'm assuming he means over here. 
All kinds of people to talk to here, but I want to continue the quest. Yep, lock from the other side. Alright, we're just going to pass through here. And I think we're going to drop down. Who is this? Kai Kaira. I'll stay here protecting... Oh, it's still it's the same girl. Whoop! We're going to fall down. No need to jump down, but we're going to anyway. Nope, here we are. So there, you can see I lost the uh, princess hair and the dress. And we have hit a checkpoint, so we are going to move on here. Alright, so we got our first wearable thing that I can show you guys how it works. We got bony feet. Or we could wear the soldier's boots. We could put our head back on. We could put all of our stuff back on if we want, it looks like here. So we got our bony feet. So this is actually what Skellboy looks like normally. When you start the game, this is your Skellboy right here. Um, I'm actually going to keep my stuff on, though. Because I like the uh, spitting ability it gives me here. Uh, these little red cubes are, are your health. So if you lose any health, you pick one of those up. You'll be right as rain. And all these doors are locked on the other side. Okay, we got our first enemy here. So... What's interesting about this game is, you know, the combat is fun, but it's it's very floaty. So when you when you fight enemies and stuff like that, I feel like this is going to be very much a game that some people are, are going to enjoy based on how floaty and silly the, the fighting feels. Uh, because as you can see, I mean, there's a zombie, by the way, uh, with our Skellboy character here, he doesn't actually hold his sword. He kind of like holds it out in front of him. Oh, I've been stunned. Oh, you jerk. We're going to head back and get this piece of health back here. Uh, but yeah, you can see he doesn't really hold his sword. It's kind of like hanging out in front of him. And when he swings it, there's no real animation to that. And because of that, um, I feel like there's a slight disconnect when you're going to hit enemies. It hasn't been like a big problem or anything like that. Like, I'm able to hit things just fine. But sometimes I'm never sure like whether I'm close enough or if I'm too close. Obviously, the arrow is staying too close to the zombie. He hit me, but... That is something I have been sort of working out as I'm playing here. Alright, we got some bats over here. Oh, we got some kind of intense skull guy there with like red... Does he got red wings or something? Oh, he is... He thinks he's hilarious. So, looks like we're gonna have to figure out some, some puzzle stuff here. So we can't get through here, obviously. But we can fight this bat. So, like, you can see the, the fighting is strange. The bat is kind of, like, over that pillar there, but we can still swing our sword over it to hit them. Oh, but man, he's throwing... We got a chest here. Can I open this chest? Doesn't look like it. Whoa! Perhaps I need a key for those or something? Okay, you get close enough to this thing, it just stops. So we can't hit it. But it also seems like we can't open those chests. More pots to break. Of course, as a self-proclaimed action RPG, of course there's going to be pots to break, right? That is how it works. Wow, this Medusa-looking thing just, like, dropped from the ceiling. Coming after me. Okay, we could try to walk across. Oh my god, it's gonna burn my. Uh... Oh, we made the jump. Nice. Okay, so that's where we needed to go. That was sort of like a pit in case you fell. Okay, so that door does open. Who's over here? What should I do? The stubborn chest will not open. It's jammed. Maybe there's a way to break it, but I don't want to get in trouble. Keep using my. Hmm. Nope, I don't really see anything. Uh, this other weapon, you can see I'm carrying a big pencil. The uh, pencil is pretty interesting because it works more like a spear. Uh, and you can actually throw the spear as well. Uh, let's see. We do have to hit a certain button. There we go. 
Is that it? No, that switches it. What is the button to throw the spear? There we go. So you have to, it's the same attack button. You just have to hold X and then you can throw it. But you always have to grab it back because if you don't grab it back, you won't have it anymore. Uh, I don't believe you could throw your sword though. Let's see where we're heading here. My guess would be back up, but I don't know for sure. Oh yeah, okay, so we're back in this area here. Heading back over here, I wonder if we can hit this checkpoint again. No, we can't. Okay, we already hit this one. So you have to hit a new checkpoint if you want to register as a save point there. Uh, so far, the dialogue in the game has been good. It's been silly and fun. Again, uh, if you're looking for that style game, you know, for a ARPG or Paper Mario style RPG that's got so, sort of like some fun dialogue and funny jokes and stuff like that and also some sometimes some not so funny jokes I think you're gonna really find something to like here what do we open here oh we open the door great and go after that laughing guy all right so we got some pumpkin Belly pumpkin for more body protection. Okay, and you know, that's the other thing too is that when you pick these things up You know, not only are you gonna get heads that can shoot pellets But you're also gonna get armor like that it gives you more body protection as you can see in the top uh, Left up there. I got two more blue pellets now working as armor, which is pretty cool Shiny emerald rare gem Oh, uh, What's happening? <laughs> If for some reason swap me. Oh weird, she like took over my body. If she drops on you. Oh wow, interesting. All right, we got the shiny emerald back. All right, so you have the, that or the shiny emerald. I don't know which does what. Only ordinary cue bolts pay with gold coins. The rich just throw around a bunch of giant emeralds. In the old times, you could find them everywhere, but today they're very rare and worth a lot. So I guess it's something we can sell, I guess? Am I using it as a shield, maybe? It would almost seem that way, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would. So I think that's what we're using as a shield. I was carrying the other thing for quite some time, not really even know knowing what it was doing. Oh, we made it. Okay. I don't even know if I should keep going this way or if I should have went back to the door that opened. Hop over these things here. Where do those bats go? I, see, I knew you guys were around. We gotta watch these spikes here. So here's the platforming part I was talking about. Like this is definitely an action platformer of some sort with a sort of isometric top-down viewpoint. The game has a lot going on, you know, in, in a good way. Like there's a lot of different genres mixed into this game, which is pretty cool. Oh, geez, that was not good, okay. Oh, we got one of those turret things just launching at us. I'm in a real bad spot here. I'm gonna kill you. Okay, we jumped that. I was gonna say, there's gonna be another zombie. Oh, no, now it is on my head. Get off of me. Get off of me, come on. I guess I gotta get my head back. There we go. Still has my sword. Oh, we got some health back, though. Oh, crap. <laughs> okay, so that's the bony feet. Okay, there we go. Oh, I'm on fire again. All right, so this is the beginning area because I remember seeing these things sort of like in the other area. Yeah, right over here. Okay, so there's a checkpoint, cool. 
This this area is uh, already way more challenging than what I faced in the uh, first area. That's for sure. But I do like that they are actually shifting the camera around for us to be able to see what we're doing. Uh, there's a lot of games who have like unique camera angles, and they're not good at you know swinging the camera around so you can actually see what you're doing. Oh crap! So we gotta run through here, not get hit, and avoid the turret. Woo! Look where we are. Hmm. The chest... I thought it was opening chests before. They don't seem to want to open for me now. I don't know why that would be the case. I feel like I was opening chests earlier. Break them all. Oh, I see. Probably should have grabbed... Charger Club by holding X. Oh, I got a club now. That's sweet. <laughs> right, we got a third weapon. I dig that. I really dig that. But yeah, I could have swore I was opening chests earlier in the game. Maybe I'm mistaken. Maybe I... Maybe I'm thinking of another game. Because of highly recurring accidents with clubs, they are now forbidden on castle grounds. Please don't use weapons to clear or put away tables, thanks. Oh, so now we could use this to open the chest. Right? Yep, there we go. We got cardboard sword. We don't want the cardboard sword. I don't think it's as powerful. Break this open. I don't know that we got anything there. But now we can actually go back and open those chests, which is cool. Okay, so we got the club, but... Now we gotta go back the way we came, I guess. Alright, let's make sure we don't die. Try not to die. <laughs> Woo! The way spikes in games ought to be done. You know, I play... Oh, my God. I played a lot of indie games over the years, and there are, there are some games where the developers put in spikes, and it is really frustrating because they don't give you any warning that they're going to be there in the first place. This game does it right for anybody who wants to keep track or take note. Oh, I got to go back the way I came here. Oh, crap. Oh, there we go. Okay. The unfortunate thing with the pumpkin body is that we have lost our armor. But that is okay. Also, developers, thank you for putting in a shadow where I can actually see where my character is jumping to. Making the jump floaty enough so that way it actually feels pretty good in a game that doesn't even look like it's built for uh, platforming. Okay, back up the stairs here. Whew. Definitely thought I was going to get hit there. Oh, I was not paying attention there at all, was I? Uh, but I can grab this other one. There we go, look at that. Back at full health. Now we just gotta jump back across. And we have this guy over here. We're gonna bash this thing open. What do you think? Royal Tunic for the Grand Dice. What did I leave? A hay bale. What was I doing with a hay bale? I don't even remember. Only members of the Knight's Order are allowed to wear this strength-inducing piece of armor, but I guess we can make an exception for this time. 
Uh, okay. Interesting. So the belly pumpkin stays, but you have, like, a sort of, like, an added piece for that. Huh. Interesting. And that might be one of my only critiques for this game, though, is that, like, you can pick up lots of different items, but I don't feel the game necessarily... Uh, explains what you're doing with these pieces very well, if that makes sense. Like, when you look here in the inventory screen, like, I get it, like, you're wearing boots, you know, the boots do certain things, the head does certain things, I get that. I don't know what the added piece here does. I, I guess it says plus... I guess that means, you know, one pl plus one, like, health unit, maybe? But I don't, I don't know what plus sword means. That that mean the club is just like, offer more. Yeah, I don't know. Because they all have that little symbol. So I, as far as I know with the weapons, they just offer different ways to attack. But hmm, yeah, I don't know. All right, we had some treasure chests to destroy here. Oh, come on. I had no chance to escape there. Oh, I could have just let him do it. Those are just soldier boots, I think. And... Whoa! Hey, look at that! Katana! I will definitely take the nice new sword. Okay, we definitely open this up. Oh, there's a second door to open. Hmm... How do we figure out where that's at? Well, before we do any of that, we're going to go back, hit this other checkpoint. Oh, hey, guys. We must be in the right spot, because there's a ton of zombies. This katana is sweet. Checkpoint. Okay. I really like the uh, checkpoint sound, too, that <laughs> sounds whenever you get to it. Um, where did this lead again? Was this at the top area there? Okay, here we are here. So we hit the switch. That was on the other side of this thing, I think, that opened the first door. I got all the way to the end of the other thing. There couldn't have been another switch, was there? Did I totally, like, come back for no reason? I'm gonna kick myself for doing backtracking here if it's not where I gotta go, but... It's part how do games work, right? You gotta... you gotta... Explore all avenues. I can't believe I gotta go through the stupid spike area again. It's the only place I can think of where the switch might be. Because we already hit one on the way here. Where else would it be? I gotta go through all this stuff again. <laughs> My god. Well, guys, uh, I'm not gonna make you watch me go through all this stuff again, but just know that there are more colorful environments in this game than what you're watching here. This just so happens to be the second quest that you're going on, having finished the first one. Um, as I said, just to kind of like sum up how I feel about the game, I think that it's really lighthearted and fun. Uh, the dialogue is pretty good. Um, the gameplay is fun. Like I said, I feel like it's a game that is trying to combine a lot of different genres into one game. I feel like they do it pretty successfully. Um, and in doing so, they've created something pretty unique here. Like I said, there are a lot of games coming out nowadays that use the, uh, you know, retro pixel style. And, uh, it's really hard to stand out from the crowd nowadays. But, uh, this game I feel like does it not only with its, like, unique gameplay, but also... Uh, with its uh, look, you know, it's got this, like I said, isometric, like, 3D style look uh, that includes, like, some cool uh, platforming sections, some interesting fighting sections, which I'm not sure if I'm the hugest fan of. Um, I don't think it's bad, necessarily. Oh, yeah, that's right, we had the tables here. So where is the switch for the other door? Where could it be? I got the club. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to have to find it later, guys. Uh, but yeah, overall, I think it's a cool game. Uh, I just need to find where the second Switch is. <laughs> uh, but like I mentioned, guys, this game comes out January 13th this week. 
Uh, definitely check it out. I believe it's going to be around 20 bucks because I think it's 20 bucks on Switch. I imagine it'd be the same price, you know, here on Steam. Uh, but definitely check it out if it looks cool to you because it's definitely a cool little game and I'm having fun with it for sure. Uh, but guys, I definitely want to say thank you for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, and all that good stuff if you enjoyed the video, if this helped you out at all. And of course, I'll see you all next time. Thank <laughs> you.